Hey YouTube, Turtle Lags here bringing you another AFK Journey video. It has been almost exactly 10 weeks since I last filmed my 6K account review and right now my account is valued at a little over 10K. So I figured that now is a good time to give you an update regarding my account progress. I, I took some notes regarding what I wanna go over today. I wanna first go over my VIP level do the calculation to show you exactly how much my account is valued at. I'll go over how much I have spent since my last recording 10 weeks ago, what did I purchase since then and why, what my budget is, actually I should write that down, budget. I'll go over my crew, just show you what character, what heroes I have worked on and why. Uh, I'll go over my rankings across Dream Realm, regular arena, supreme arena, etc, etc. Hey Highway, good to see you, you're on YouTube. And finally going over my future plans. So first let's go over my, go over my VIP level as you can see here. I am just uh, maybe like 300 USD away from VIP 19. And uh, basically the way that you convert your VIP experience to how much you've spent in the game is you basically take your experience, which in my case is 309,020. So let me, I, let me grab my calculator here. So uh, 309,020 divided by 3,000. And for those of you guys who are not aware, I'm basically the way that the game camouflages how much you've spent is by doing one Dragon Crystal equal to one EXP. So I divide by 3000, because what I'm gonna do next is multiply that by, I'm gonna round up to 100 USD, uh, which will translate to roughly how much my account is valued at. So as you can see, after doing the calculation, my account is currently valued at 10.3K. And uh, if you've watched one of my former videos regarding just my spending plans for the future. I basically told myself that I wouldn't spend more than how much my content creation creates. For example, um, if you watch my pre one of my previous videos several months back, uh, you would know that my plan was to not spend more than 300 USD per week because that is how much uh, money I am generating per week from my different platforms from my YouTube ads from my twitch ads and subs plus the money I get as a stipend from uh, being in the content creator the official content creation program of Lilith games for AFK journey now what that doesn't take into account is the in-game rewards that the content creation program gives me. For those of you guys who don't know, I am an official content creator uh, uh, for Lilith Games, kind of like, you know, Barry, Vulcan, Zebo. Uh, I'm enrolled in the same program they are in. Uh, the way that, without spoiling too much, I, I cannot disclose how much exactly that they compensate me, but just know that, uh, Lilith Games does give me in-game rewards that are a couple hundred USD each month and that also contributes to the VIP. So if I was to do the math, if I've spent exactly 300 USD each week for the past 10 weeks, that adds up to an additional 3k USD that I've spent since my last recording of my 6k account. So if you're counting the exact amount of money I've spent on my account, it would be 9k and the remaining 10 po the remaining 1.3k that my account is valued at was actually contributed by the in-game rewards that Lilith Games has given me. Uh, and I've gotten about 3 months worth of rewards uh, in game from Lilith Games, if you will. So just wanted to clarify that. So what I'm trying to tell you is that I have stuck with my words since last time that I would not spend any more of my real life money 
that actually the reason why I've been able to spend as much as I have is because of people like you who have watched my videos uh, because uh, the amount of in-game rewards as well as the, the size of the stipend that Lilith Games gives me is actually correlated with how many of you guys are watching my videos. So thank you so much. All right, so now that I've clarified, I'm at 225k Dragon Crystals at Paragon 3. Yeah, efficient spending, yes, yes. Uh, and, and by the way, um, the reason why I feel comfortable disclosing this and why I feel like I should disclose, uh, you know, just my account progression and everything is because there are, I actually have quite a few viewers on Twitch who um, have spent the equivalent of how much I have spent or even more. So I just want to emphasize that this video is not meant to be like, oh, Turtle spent that much, let's bash all the whales. I want this to be a safe space for whales because a lot of whales watch my videos as well. Just know like, you know, we all have different budgets and we all have different reasons for spending as much as we do. We are all in different financial situations. And I do want to emphasize that, you know, at the end of the day, spend responsibly within your means, but just know like your value system may be different from someone else's. So just, you know, respect one another, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go over my crew next. So, um, you know, as I have mentioned, I have spent exactly 3K since my recording last time, 10 weeks ago, and the remaining 1.3K is from in-game rewards given to me by Lilith Games. Yes, spicy account, thank you, Reggie. So as of this recording right now, I have six P2s and P2s, uh, stands for Paragon 2. If you look at the top left of Scar, like right next to Scarlita, it says Paragon and then there's a crown and you can hardly see it but it says 2 next to it. So I have six heroes who are P2s right now. They are Scarlita, Doran, Carolina, Arden, Vala, and Nero. <laughs> Just because there's no other A rank. Graveborns and Nero just, I didn't really intentionally go for him. He just happens to be P2 as of this morning. All right, and then I do have um, quite a bit of Paragon 1s as well. Uh, you'll notice that if I was to scroll all the way down, just about every single one of my heroes is Supreme Plus. I have decided to get every single hero Supreme Plus. The reason being is that even heroes like Valen and Walker, I do need for the Lightbearer Faction Tower as well as to clear Dura's Trows. You know, as crazy as it sounds, I have not maxed out all the stages for Dura's Trows. I have maxed out, reached level 25 for most of the Dura's Trows stages. However, the silly thing is that, uh, as many of you know, for Dura's Trows, the raid up heroes are significantly buffed and unfortunately i'm forced to run Valen or walker on these stages in order to get to resonance 25 or to stage 25 and because my walker does not have the ex weapon so i literally cannot push any higher than stage 22 for these two stages without wiping yeah, so I need I need Walker's EX weapon at the minimum to have a chance. So that is my reasoning for wanting to get everyone Supreme Plus. I know a lot of whales are opting to just, instead of pulling for the Walker and Valen, I know a lot of my guildmates have already gotten their Merrily and their Corrin to Paragon 2. Uh, that probably would have been the case if I was not working on Valen and Walker but I just, that's kind of my priority right now. Yeah, Lamo. if you got charms, or right, then really no point in max out the stage, right? Charms are not enough. You actually need your hero to have an EX weapon because what ends up happening for Dura's Trials is like, the enemies hit you so hard, they end up like one-shotting or two-shotting your heroes. 
and so if you don't have like their like walker's ex weapon to like stun them better or something like that you end up wiping so and walker is actually a really good crowd control unit and without his ex weapon he's not as effective so unfortunately uh okay so um what else can i say um so i pretty much decided that even though I do, I'm sitting on quite a few stellar crystals, as you guys can see, I have 267. If I wanted to, I could probably get like Talin or Burial to P2 if I wanted to. But right now, I'm actually trying to just get more heroes Paragon 2. Um, or actually, what I'm trying to do is not spend as much in this game, because What's happening right now is that not as many people are playing AFK Journey, so I have noticed that my viewership has decreased. The amount that I make on YouTube and Twitch by focusing on this game is continuing to decline each week, so I anticipate that at some point I won't be able to spend any more than 200 USD per week on this game in order to break even. So as such, I have begun to cut back on my spending, and so as such, I think that my plans to P2 or P3 my heroes is probably not going to happen. I think realistically what I'm going to do is just save all my um, rate up invite letters, all my stellar crystals for new heroes. So you probably, you'll still see me continue to acquire more P1s and P2s. However, it's going to be at a much slower rate than, be than before. Yes, yeah, I'm kind of, like, I'm still, uh, basically, whatever I gain from content creation will go into the game. But obviously, if I'm getting less ad revenue, fewer subs, etc., etc., that will translate to less, um, to less pulls in the future. Yeah, so, uh, but... You know, I I think that right now, in terms of the pop-ups I've been purchasing, uh, so the po only pop-ups I'm really purchasing right now are this one right here. So as many of you know, every Monday and Wednesday, you get these kinds of pop-ups where you're able to get these rate-up letters at a huge discount, a huge discount. So, you know, f 5 USD plus 6, 7, so, you know, I'm probably spending like 14 USD across, um, you know, this pop-up as well as the, Mon the Wednesday's pop-ups. Surprisingly, just by purchasing these two pop-ups, by spending 14 USD a week, uh, for the Monday pop-up and the Wednesday pop-up, that's actually enough for me to Supreme Plus my um, any rate-up hero. Because uh, the reason for that is because by being part of the content creator program, I do get enough in-game rewards to where I can pull on a rate-up hero without spending more money. Um, additionally, as you may have seen from my previous recording, I am no longer spending diamonds on AFK instant refreshes. The reason being is like, it's just basically not worth it. However, um, I have calculated that actually, if I was to spend just like 50 to 150 more gems on the instant AFK, that should not significantly decrease the amount of extra pulls that I get in order to summon. Cause like, Someone calculated for me, I think it was Inkia or some other viewer, that if I was to save 500 diamonds a day by not max refreshing, then I could theoretically have 33 extra invite letters per month to pull. So, and obviously that increases a couple more pulls if I don't hit this 100 diamond refresh. So, uh, that's kind of the plan right now. I don't think that should hurt me significantly because at least I'm still doing two-thirds of the instant refreshes. Uh, yeah, none of us knows how, what the conversion rate will be when we get our, you know, once the season is over and all everything that we have spent on season essences, um, you know, season 
uh, you know, EXP books and season artifacts. You know, these will all be converted uh, back in some way to our account before the new season starts or as the new season starts, I should say. And besides the pop-ups, uh, what else am I spending on? So if I go into the trolley, um, I do I do purchase the monthly still, of course. This should be a priority for everyone uh, before purchasing anything else. Um, I'm still purchasing the season growth bundle, which you know is just a one-time purchase. I am purchasing the recruit bundles. I, I don't ever skip this. And then I am buying this one right here, uh, the top left, the Stargaze Station bundle, which has stellar crystals as well as temporal essences. Right now for my account, uh, the purchases that I make that have the biggest impact on my account, I would say are stellar crystals as well as temporal essences as well as um, you know the rate up invite letters that I get from uh, the 1,200 pop-ups. Uh, so those are the resources that are top priority for me, for my account. And uh, just kind of going back to my crew, in terms of the heroes that I have prioritized for my EX weapon, as you can see, my Scarletas EX20, uh, my Arden's EX20, Haywind's EX20, Aeron EX20, Smokey EX20, um, Corrin EX20, Merrily EX20, OD EX20, Foresto EX20, Talin EX20. Yeah, so those are my EX20s. Uh, now, in terms of. Okay, I'll go over my rankings next. So here is my Supreme Arena ranking. I'm rank eight right now. Uh, just full disclosure, I am in District Eight, which consists of servers 25, 26, 27, 28. I am on server 25 right now. The top five people in my district, M. Glad, Kale, Fade, Jin, Gina, Appa, and Zero, they are all P4 accounts, probably valued at at least 15 to 20k each, well, probably 20k each. Uh, and then uh, I believe Ryojin is P3. Uh, and then after that, we're all pretty much like regular people, <laughs> regular whales, P1s, P2s. Uh, so I would say like the top 20 pretty much all have some amount of P1s, uh, but you know, the rankings do shift quite considerably. I'm currently ranked 8 in my server. I think that for an account of my power level, that is probably the highest I can go, unless I want to spend a lot of time camping <laughs> in Supreme Arena. Okay, so that's my district ranking for Supreme Arena. Now for regular Arena, I am currently ranked 4. Uh, in my server in particular, there's only two active people who have more P2s than me. One is my guildmate, Kale, who has P4 heroes. And then another is WWW, who I think him, in addition to Orogrim, uh, they probably have just as many P2s as I have. Um, Hermit actually has P3s, but he unfortunately quit the game. So, uh, Right now, my situation is that because I want to say 15 out of 20 people in the top 20 of Arena are in my guild. Yeah, I, yeah. see, the only people not in my guild or alliance are Lycodi, Plutes, um, Tunechi, Costella, Alucard, Easy, and Hermit. So 13 out of 20 people are in my alliance. So for this reason, uh, due to the matchmaking, I have to refresh a lot because I cannot or I try not to attack my own guild members. Uh, so for this reason, there's very few people who I can can comfortably attack. I cannot attack Hermit because his defense, I just can't crack it yet. It's like P3 heroes. And then um, Easy for some reason, he has a defensive lineup that I still can't crack yet, which means that 
the only people I can really attack are Alucard, Costella, Tunechi, and Plutes. And I have almost 100% win rate against them, but every now and then I'll lose an attack, you know, due to RNG. And it takes me literally five victories now in order to make up one loss against them. So I'm kind of stuck at rank four, but I do anticipate that in maybe by the end of this week, I'll be rank three. Not that it matters, but just explaining in case you guys are like, oh, but turtle, you're not rank one. Okay, and then in terms of um, just the rest of the rankings here, so if I go over here, uh, as you can see, because I'm, I started, well, I stopped max refreshing last week. So for this reason, I dropped from being rank two for season resonance levels to rank five. And that has actually somewhat had a positive correlation with, um, as I explained before, resonance levels. The main reason you would even max refresh is to maintain leaderboards for AFK stages as well as season legend trials. Literally, those are the only two modes that high resonance levels benefit you with. Dream Realm, Supreme Arena, and Regular Arena, you are level synced significantly uh, down to like resonance level 500 and something. So as you can see here, um, I did drop down from rank two to rank three. Mind you, Zero and Mglad are both P4 players. So I think this is still reasonable. I am pushing AFK stages pretty hard still. Now, uh, what are my future plans for my account? Basically, right now, my plan is to finish getting my Walker and my Volun to... Actually, right now, my plans, if, you go, if I go into my inventory, I'm trying to actually bring my Damien to P2. He's only three copies away. I'm just going to get him to P2, and then from there, I'm going to spend the remainder of my Dream Points to accelerating my progress for getting uh, Supreme Plus or um, yeah, Supreme Plus Walker and Supreme Plus Volan before I hyper focus on getting key units to P2. Now for heroes who I want to get to P2, that would probably be Aaron, Haywin, Smokey, Casty, Shakir. Shakir is actually two copies away from P2. Probably want to get my Corn, Merrily, Odie to P2, Tamisia, Granny, Rowan, Florbell, Sylvina. Um, yeah, those would probably be the, and maybe Sessia, uh, getting, oh, and Coco. Yeah, pretty much any P2, P1s right now that I am still using, I'm going to bring them up to P2s. Now, there was a part of me that was thinking, oh, maybe I do want to get my Burial and my Talene and maybe my Foresto to P2. <laughs> but then I thought about just how much it costs to get one of those Hypogenes and Celestials to P2 and I was, or to Supreme Plus, and I was like, man, I, I would much rather just save my Stellar Crystals for the next Hypogene or Celestial. So... Anyways, that pretty much wraps it up. Yo, Turtle, could you help me with my Supreme Arena defense after? Absolutely, we will do so. That pretty much wraps it up for my account. Oh, I do want to get um, Ludovic and Olmus P2 because I, uh, I have started running them in Supreme Arena. I do want to get Lucius to P2 as well. Um, yeah, so, uh, oh, and also to P2 as well. Yeah, but of course, those are like super long-term plans. Anyways, guys, thank you, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.